and just feel like it's my duty and my responsibility to come out here and bring some awareness to a situation that the media is trying to sweep up under the rug. There's no attention on it if we don't put no attention on it. They talking about who's going to be president. Who can't? Let's fix this problem. Yeah. Yeah. Let's figure that out. Snoop, you know, you're one of the hardest rappers of all time, man, as far as hard music. And I was, when the mayor gave you that key to the city, man, we seen you get a little emotional, man. How did it feel to get the key to the city? You know, front, I was man. emotional because I don't even have a key to the city going front. I'm from Long Beach. I've been Long Beach on the map. I've been rapping Long Beach ever since I can remember. And don't even have a key to that city. And for them to give me a key to the city, it felt good. It just feels like appreciation. Me and more people wanted to do something special with the mayor, with the city of Flint, Michigan. Just to come out here and show love. For them to get that back to us and give us a key. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Was you expecting that at all? Just to get that? No. We kept that on the wraps. I want to say something so bad. <laughs> Yo, so you knew? <laughs> Look at my dog going to tell me nothing. Snoop, you, Snoop, you said you care. You said you care about the people. And everywhere you go, people trail you. We're, we're from Toronto. We saw you up there in the All Star game. What is it about you that you know people just gravitate to you, and especially a cause like this, it helps mold so much. And the people too. The people. You know what I'm saying? I am them. I've always been able to throw myself in the crowd with the people and mix and mingle and become a part of them. So they feel like they're part of Snoop Dogg. And I'm the voice. I'm the mind. I'm the reason. I'm the part of the majority. And when the politically, politically correct, I am the voice for the people who can't speak. So this is what I'm here for. Snoop, we know you're a music head too, man. How are you aware of Flint history a little bit as far as like some of the athletes? I know you're cool with Mo P. Which is MC Breed and man, some of the, here, some of the man, artists. I, I know about all the Flintstones, man. All the all the guys that come from Flint, Michigan are all my friends. Whether they athletes, whether they entertainers, from Breed to Draymond to Mateen to Mo P. I mean, it's been a part of my life since I can remember. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the S on the uh, Spartans uniform because it represents Snoop Dogg. Yes, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> and I met Coach Izzo today. Hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> How was Coach Izzo? <laughs> How was Coach Izzo, man? <laughs> <laughs> How was Coach Izzo to meet him? We know you're from the West Coast, man, but, you know, meeting me Coach Izzo. I wish I could have played for him, man. Like, when I see, when I watch more of them back in the days when they played with him, they was having so much fun out there, and I just, I like his spirit of how he knows how to coach. You got to be able to coach these kind of kids that, you know, come from these kind of areas. He's just right in. He's the head to the left. What's funny is, man, the first thing he said to me when we did that radio interview, I got to talk to Iz, man, because I was down back in Michigan in 89. Why didn't he recruit me? I mean, I mean the scholarship was taken. <laughs> you had the baby magic on, too, man. So, I mean, man, magic hey, is my man. The first play, you got the Showtime layup, too, man. So, oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> you like that old school finger roll, huh? <laughs> My, my legs ain't what they used to be. I can't dunk no more, so I just finger roll, show them that old George Garvin thing, you know, Iceman. <laughs> But also, too, man, you know, it's great with uh, having some black man back in Flint. I know the, the city embraced you, the city of Lurie, man, so you know, we have the city. But I just want to say thank you, all. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Mo. Such a blessing on us. You always are my favorite, dog. You already know that. You've been my favorite, man. So to be able to come with you back here, you just have to, we're talking to the All-Star game for those who don't know. He was in Toronto, and we wanted to do something to help the people in Flint, so we just decided to come up with an idea to bring, you know, something to the city that was fun and festive and not so heartbroken and sad. So hopefully we did a good job by bringing some awareness and bringing some fun to this city. But we do want to make sure that the mission is to fix this problem and don't forget about it. Like, we're not here just for fun and games. We're here to bring awareness to a bad situation that, you know, the media in America tends to sweep up under the rug, but we're here to pull the rug up. We want to fix this. Oh, how was that Captain J's chicken though, man? I, what? I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> they won't give me. They won't give me the recipe though. <laughs> if anybody that work at Captain J's that got that seasoning salt recipe <laughs> and want to be a, and want to be a star and want to have his own restaurant, come sign the Snoop though. So that, that was truly your it's first stop, pepper, man. man. It's, no, it ain't. Yes, it no, is. it ain't. I didn't bench. That ain't lemon pepper, dog. I'd have been in the store. That's, they got a twist on it. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop, what can Flint be? What, what, what do you see in a year, five years? What can Flint be? Flint could be a beautiful place to live if the politicians do the right thing. Come out here and fix this problem and, and stop acting like it don't exist and, and moving on to the next best topic. You know, let's deal with the situation at hand, you know. I've seen people out here in um, political 
meetings or whatnot have no concern or no care. And that just made me sick. That's why I wanted to come out here and show that my celebrity, my power, my magnitude of being able to pull people in, we're gonna come out here and make a whole lot of noise until y'all do something about it. So and what's up with the artist Gilmore, man? Oh, you like that? <laughs> artist Gilmore, man. I'm a throwback, man. I'm a, I'm a 70s baby, so sometimes I do things that come from an era, you know, before us, because I love paying tribute to those who did it before me, so he's got my handlebars on right now, trying to do my time. <laughs> How do you guys plan to keep uh, the momentum going? Obviously, more you said before, uh, you want to make this a yearly thing. You don't want the media to, to be here. We're all here now and disappear. How are you going to sustain that, to continue that, to, uh, you know, make a change? Like, it, this has to reverberate, not in, only in Flint, but this situation is happening across America. What can you guys well, do? We plan on doing this annually, but also uh, collectively. It's not just going to take us. You know, we're trying to play our part. I think at different times we have different people coming in to town. And I think the unique thing, thing about it is everywhere I go, people are, always ask me, you know, hey, how's Flint? How's everything going on? You know, what can I do to help? So it, they always had that genuine concern. And so bring this game, man. We want to continue to do it every year. We want everybody that to chip in and continue doing what they're doing. But just bring awareness to the situation because you know, we don't want this to die down. We want, like, like Snoop said, we don't want it to be swept up under the rug. We want to take it up under, up under the rug and, uh, and fix the problem. And we also want to we want to let the people in Flint know that we care. But sometimes they get forgotten about it. And it's like it's sad that you know there's so many people out here that's dealing with it. So that's mainly why we came back. You know, the basketball game was cool, but we just want the people in Flint to know that we here. We're gonna come back. We're gonna continue to work. And we want to make sure that when people do make, you know, donations of, they get to the right people. Because a lot of times when you do things like this, people like to donate and it don't get to the right people. It don't get to the people who need it. So we just wanted to make sure that we got with the mayor and got with the proper people to make sure that when we make, you know, donations or people dropping off things, it's getting to the people and not going into the wrong hands or to the wrong pockets. We know you all said that this is hopefully going to be an annual thing. Who's taking home the crown next time? <laughs> I'm not here for the winning. <laughs> winning isn't. You want this jersey? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Hey, what's funny is we played in two games and we was on the same team. So then when I look up on the roster, I'm like, hold on. I'm going to the other team. He must not want to win or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make it fun, Mo. You know, they got to see me and you go at it sometimes. We always with each other. So to have fun and compete. Friendly competition. That's what we do. That's what friends do. We compete against each other for the right cause. It brought back memories for you. Obviously, I was a reporter when you were playing for the Raptors. That boy shot um, is wet. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are people leaving you wide open in a game like this to, to get that big shot at the it end? It ain't leaving him wide open. We're trying to stick the man with the ball, and he's standing over there in the corner. Ain't nobody <laughs> worrying about him if he ain't got the ball. Then when he gets the ball, it's too late. <laughs> he said, he said, he's wet. That boy is wet. <laughs> he's always been wet. It's super oh. wet. <laughs> Slippery slopes, that's his name when he shoots. <laughs> and, and, and the best charge taker probably I've ever seen in the NBA. Uh, I wouldn't take no charge taker. No, no, not today. He got, he got work to do when he get back in Toronto. He ain't taking no charge. <laughs> so, if he, you played games here and you've seen the arena, I don't know if you've seen it in the last year. What's it mean you didn't see this? Well, I don't live with everything, man. You got anything new coming up? I got my Snoop Dogg back on. Um, <laughs> July 1st. Got a solo record coming out. I was DJing in the 312 last night. Oh, you was there? <laughs> no, I saw on your snap. You like that, huh? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <on. laughs> hey, Snoop. And, and, and your new stuff, are you going to uh, are you going to be, you know, traditional Snoop, or are you going to do the future stuff? You know, how many, how many? How many? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, knock it off. <laughs> I can't even cuss right now because I got too many news cameras. Right now. I'm going to stay professional. Uh, I'd rather not. I'm going to stay unique. <laughs> What's up with Daz and Corrupt? I've been listening to uh, Dog Pound. They still doing anything? Yeah, yeah. They're still with me. Family. We stay there. All family. You know what I'm saying? Everything is always, you know, I like to keep it all family. Like, the origins of who I am, what I am, the people who made me who I was, the people who gave me my spirit. I like to keep those people around me because there's something about the original members of what you do. To keep you fresh and keep you fly to be able to go back to those who had the spirit that you had and then still have the spirit. We still do what we do. We come.
Uh, like John Connor? I'm on Dr. Dre's album. Did you get that? Uh, we've done one already. Are you, you, did you catch up to that one? <laughs> I mean, don't act like I ain't done nothing with the Flint, man. I've been doing it, man. This is what I do. I'm just, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here man. This is what I do. This is Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg comes to the belly of the beast and deal with it. I deal with it, like, you know, on every level. Peace, love, music, community work. We just here. what we do. Like, I love what I do, and I do it well. Appreciate all y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Good guys. job, guys. Appreciate it. Incredible. Thanks, boss. <laughs>